dear children in the previous class we have discussed about the moderates and radicals today we will discuss about the division of bengal the division of bengal is one of the important topic in this chapter who divide the bengal and why they divide the bengal the name bengal or bangla is derived from the ancient kingdom of vanga or banga in early sanskrit literature reference to the name of banga occur through its early history is almost obscure until the 3rd century so why british divide the bengal the part first partition of bengal was a territorial reorganization of the bengal presidency implemented by the authorities of the british raj in 1905 the partition separated the largely muslim eastern areas from the largely hindu western areas on 16th october 1905 after being announced on 19th july 1905 by lord curzon the then vice of india what are the reasons or what were the intention of the partition of bengal the partition of bengal was seen as the british tactic of divide and rule policy the reason for such a partition was stated as to run the administration smoothly but in reality an attempt was made by the british to dilute the demand for independence in the picture you can see that lord curzon so lord curzon divided the bengal in the year 1905 so in map you can see that uh, the location of bengal in india during the time of 1904 so this is the clear map of the bengal in one side eastern bengal is there and one side is western bengal is there as per the census reported and indicated that the east part of bengal had more number of muslim and west part of bengal had more number of hindus actually the main reason is they wanted to stop the freedom movement they wanted to stop the revolutionary activities as well as the demands of the independence from india for that reason they implemented divide and rule policy that is the first part is division of bengal the british divided bengal in 1905 like this the british thought of suppressing the spirit of national freedom struggle with the division of bengal they given the reason that reason is administrative but the reality is they wanted to divide the bengal just because they wanted to stop the freedom movement the division of bengal in 1905 was opposed by indian national congress even though many leaders opposed that division of bengal still the bengali language could unite the hindu and muslim communities so bengal language were uniting the peoples of bengal but british divided bengal in 1905 it was also opposed by the congress leader and other leader for uniting hindus and muslim purpose rakshabandhan and cultural festi festival was held to bring in unity among the hindus and muslim the division of bengal resulted in the widespread protest across the country actually british thought that they can stop the freedom movement if we divide the bengal but due to the division of bengal the freedom movement spreaded across the country the radicals took the issues to the door steps of common people they called for boycotting of foreign goods and the institution that encourage it so the radicals leaders even the balagangadhar tilak and many leaders they opposed division of bengal they conducted many programs like uh, rakshabandhana ganesh chaturthi shivaji jayanti durga festival and all to unite the hindus and muslim even though they took the issues to the door steps of the common people to boycott the foreign goods foreign education and institutions and all indians were encouraged to use local goods finally british came to know that it is no use if you are dividing the bengal in the name of hindus and muslims so finally 
the British government withdraw the Bengal Division order in 1911. So, in that division of Bengal during that time, a Balagangatar Tilak took great leadership. He declared, Swaraj is my birthright, I would definitely get it back. So, he has given the statement that Swaraj is my birthright. So, I would definitely get it back. So, attaining complete freedom was the aim of radicals. So, during that time, radicals also one of the part of the Congress party or Congress association. So, they told that attaining complete freedom was the aim of the radicals. They tried to organize the common people of India. They attempted to organize people by employing religious celebration too. Means like uh, Ganesha Chaturthi, Shivaji, Durga festival and all. So, that is the intention they wanted to unite the people of Hindus and Muslim to support for their movement against the British government. So, in the picture you can see many people, many people were gathered in one place uh, by protesting against the British government. So, in the year 1906, Muslim League was born. The intention of that Muslim League is to protect the Muslim identity and during the same time Tilak also published Kesari and Marathi newspaper, Kesari in Marathi language and Maratha in English language to give support, to give encourage for the people of India. He encouraged common people to protest against the British and the radical writings of Tilak galvanized the common people which given support encourage to the common people to fight to do movement against the British government. The British arrested Tilak due to these developments and when Tilak was there in jail, when he was in prison, he written one more book which is called as Gita Rasha. So, this is the great achievement which was shown by Balagangada Tilak in time of partition of Bengal. So, uh, next before going to discuss about the revolutionaries, uh, uh, why British cancelled the partition. So, owing to mass political protest, the partition was annulled in 1911. New provinces were created based on linguistic lines rather than religion lines. Bihar and Orissa province was carved out of Bengal despite the annulment the partition did create a communal divide among the Hindus and Muslim of Bengal so you can see that Bengal was divided in 1905 and it was withdrawn in 1911 but Indians got success in that they withdrawn that division of Bengal but the separation was created between Hindus and Muslims just because of the British. So now we are going to discuss about the revolutionaries. So before going to discuss about the who are the revolutionaries? A revolutionaries is a person who either participates in or advocates a revolution. Also when used as a as an ad adjective the term revolutionary refers to the something that has major sudden impact on society or on some aspect of human endeavor. So, you know that Arvind Ghosh, then V.D. Savarkar, Bhagat Singh, Chandrasekhar Ajat. So, many revolutionary leaders were there. Their aim is to get the freedom. The revolutionary dreamed of attaining complete freedom. The main intention of that, they wanted to attain complete freedom. They believed that they can drive away the British by employing violent methods. They established secret association across the country and started collecting weapons and money for an armed struggle against the British. They provided training also. The revolutionary movement for Indian independence is a part of the comprising the action of the underground revolutionary faction 
groups believing in armed revolution against the ruling british fall into this category as opposed to the general peaceful civil disobedience movement spear added by Mah mahatma gandhi ji the revolutionary groups were mainly concentrated in bengal maharashtra bihar the united provinces and punjab even though more groups were scattered across india in the picture you can see arvind ghosh a secret organization named lotus and dragger was founded in england that is also one of the association which is uh, belongs to revolutionary leaders people like arvind ghosh were in england supported the revolutionary group and similarly another revolutionary organization or group called gada in usa can be recalled here so in other countries also also secret associations were there which were supported means those were supported by the revolutionary leaders in england we can see that lotus and dragger likewise in america usa we can see gada or gadar party so arvind abhinav bharata and anushilana samiti were the two important secret organization in india in india we can see abhinav bharata and anushilana samiti these two were the important secret organization in india so these revolutionary leaders they used bombs and guns to achieve their goal means they went through violent manners the government tried to suppress them by arresting them and hanging them unto that on the charges of sedition means the british government they plan to arrest and they plan to hang them until death so who are the important revolutionary leaders you can see in india in the list you can see that arvind ghosh vd savarkar ashwin kumar datta and rajanarayan bos rajguru chakikar brothers vishnu shastri champukar shyamaji krishna varma and shyamaji krishna varma same then ras bihari bos madam kama kudiram bos ram prasad bismil ashwakula khan bhagat singh chandrashekar azad jatin das are more prominent leaders were there during the time of revolutionary movement so in the picture the great revolutionary leaders like arvind ghosh vd savarkar ashwin kumar datta and rajanarayan bos ras bihari ghosh chakikar brothers then shivaram hari rajkur vishnu shastri chiplunkar madam kama and you can see in the picture that kudiram bos ram prasad bismillah chandrashekar azad bhagat singh so these are the great leaders who sacrificed their lives against the british government to get the freedom for india and even though jatin das ashpakulla khan so these are the great leaders we can see who are belongs to the revolutionaries and the main intention they wanted to get freedom for our country by sacrificing their live or their life so the dream of revolution is to bring the freedom to india quickly did not materialize completely the what is the dream was there of the revolutionaries did not materialize quick completely still they were the fountains of spirit to indian freedom movement many of the radicals later became revolutionaries and continued their efforts so many of the radical leaders for example arvind ghosh so in the beginning was there in the side of radicals later on is turned into revolutionaries so the role of revolutionaries is important in many ways in the annals of indian history so we can see the role of moderates we can see the role of radicals as well as as well as revolutionaries who sacrificed their life to get the freedom for our country